This is an annual thing that our department does along with the assistance of Coquille Fire Department. It's Shop of the Heroes. It is a program set up for the children of the community that are maybe less fortunate to provide them with a shopping experience for Christmas to, so they can pick out their own gifts. You're 21. Today we had 131 kids that actually rode on school buses and went to Walmart and did their shopping. And we had 30 kids that came and that were too young to be able to ride the buses, but were still able to come and receive a gift here at the school. We, we send out flyers pretty early to local businesses. We have a lot of uh, civilian uh, members of the community that donate. Um, like I said, all, a lot of the businesses in town donate. Walmart donated $1,500 towards, towards Shop of the Heroes this year. We spent approximately $9,500 on kids today. They had a pretty good size limit that they were allowed to spend. There's the first one. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna get that? Okay, good decision. <laughs> it was absolutely one of the most rewarding things that I've done in my career. Um, the kids were a blast. Every one of them were respectful, and I never heard one complaint. They were super respectful to their chaperones that, that took them around, but every kid was super happy with everything they were able to get. Um, so the smiles and the laughter that went throughout 131 kids running around Walmart, grabbing what they could, it was, it was absolutely a blessing. We gotta scan it. I can't believe I'm following The community itself that donates all their time, their money, um, the upwards of 50 chaperones that we had. Uh, we had the Coos County Sheriff's Office came out and assisted, along with Myrtle Point Fire Department, Coquille Fire Department, uh, we, this Oregon State Police came out and donated time. It was absolutely wonderful, and that's the big thing is everyone deserves a thank you that, that had any kind of a hand in putting this together. Merry Christmas!